accountability report. This new guy, Mark. I'm having thoughts. I know. I know that's okay. That happens, but... You said if it's not talked out, it could be acted out. Now, I trust myself not to act on it. But that's not stop the thoughts. And I feel guilty with Maxine. That may be why I forgot to include it in the report. That's... That's why I'm telling you to keep that as far away as possible. Well, as far as my drinking, I'm sober five months since that last time, so I've got a good handle on that. All in all, things are getting better every day. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I think it's mostly this side right here. Randall! Randall, how we doing? That's it. Coming in now. You can turn it off unless you want to flood in here. I, I should turn off the water. I got it. Coming down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never tell you I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, I know. Let's go, Dustin. Careful, boys. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to scare you. How long have you been standing there? Oh, a few seconds. Hmm. I thought you were still up on the roof with Mark. Uh, no, no, we, we found the leak. It's in the flashing at the base of the skylight. You two seem to be having fun. You need help with those? No, uh, I'm fine. I'm almost finished. What color is that? It's what? The stripes on your shirt. What, what color would you say they are? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. They're, uh, they're, they're red. Hmm. You know, Gail, uh, that night on the porch with Mark. It's the, that night what? Well, I've given him a cigarette. I haven't had one since, but I, I think that's what made him sick anyway. I'm sorry for that. Well, thank you for being honest, Scott. Is it okay if I take the van, go to my dad's? Are you going alone? Oh, yeah. Ted has keys. Hey, hey, my man. Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Hector. So, what's up? Uh, I got a small leak in the roof of Genesis. Uh, need some flashing. Got to fix up the skylight. <laughs> Nobody grab it. So I just talked to your dad, man. He sounded good. Yeah. He's, uh, he's tough that way. Nice to see they're still letting you out over there, huh? What you get for finding Jesus? Amen to that. I mean, being like this never felt okay for me. Or if it did, it was a feeling that was over so fast I can't remember it. Maybe my mom had been around. I think when she died, my dad sort of stopped. Stopped living too, except through me. Then when my dad found out I was gay, he acted like I'd died too, or like the person he knew was dead. So I went looking for people like me. Um, I mean, I found gay people, but the bars and the parties, that didn't feel like that was who I was supposed to be. That's when I got thinking, maybe my father was right. Maybe what I thought was his condemnation was a deeper love. Being attracted to men or being with men, that, that doesn't have to be a part of who I am because it is not in the Lord's image. I think my father is really proud of me now. Oh, 
chocolate or strawberry? Strawberry. What if I had said chocolate? I'd have taken strawberry. You been sleeping better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's just finally stop this snoring. Uh -huh. How long were you in that hospital? How much time? Time before this? A few months. What did you do? It doesn't say in the ex-gay report. Mark, we take what we do seriously. I tried to kill myself. How? Straight razor. It was my dad's. What do you make of that? You must have been in a lot of pain. Didn't feel a thing. I was high at the time. I meant to do it. Oh, he died instead. Ironic. You think because of what you did? I think that's what my mother and my brother would like to believe. My dad was heading down that road a long time before gay came along. What's the Bible say about asshole parents? Mark, language. I had a son. Had. He died. Eight years ago. How? It was an overdose. How old was he? Seventeen. <clears throat> he was gay. So he killed himself. Oh, I don't think he meant to. But he'd gotten involved with that lifestyle and the drugs. He was very young. So. Why didn't you change him? Do, do your thing. Mark. I don't change people. I try to show them how to get closer to Jesus Christ and let them make their own way. I'm not sure I'll ever know the way. You know how people who have come close to death talk about walking toward the light? Well, I believe we do the same in life when we walk toward the Lord. And sometimes that light is so bright, it's blinding. But if we have faith and we keep moving forward one step at a time, then we start to see that that light of the Lord is within us. And when we do, it shines out and it lights our path and we don't lose our way ever again. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> here I was trying to sound so wise and dignified. <laughs> you are. Nice.